Hi everyone. So with another video from the Season 27 PTR, I want to talk about Mununugu Witch Doctor in more detail. I think I briefly mentioned them already back when I made my Season 27 PTR meta video, talking about the potential for Mununugu being used for 150s in groups as a trash killer role. Now, I don't think this is necessarily going to happen very much. I think that Witch Doctors are still pretty good, but they're not going to be like as comfortable and as easy to push all the way with as like Nova or Hem of the Ancients. I think those are going to be the two builds that most people will use. And on top of this, Mundunugu is also very difficult to play in groups. So yeah, it's slightly weaker and way harder. But for solo, it actually gets this new season theme power that allows you to pull enemies together from a 60 yards radius into a single pixel, which is insanely powerful for something like Spur Barrage that really relies on getting as much density as possible. And you can see me here walking into this solo 145 and I'm making progress, you know, not really a huge deal actually, once you have a rather good map. The thing is, you don't even have to change the build very much. So you usually use Piranado to pull enemies together, but now you just use the Bogadile, which has this uh, season theme power interaction and it pulls everything from a much larger radius and way more consistently. With Piranado, they usually like, jump around a little bit and they might actually like drop out of the Phantasm AOE. And here that's all nicely, neatly stacked. You can make in large pulls. And you also have the Bogadile that might be able to kill the boss. Now on the PTR, unfortunately, this Bogadile power was bugged and it was able to instantly one-shot anything, including the Rift Guardian, which is obviously going to get fixed but not on the PTR anymore. So we have to wait for the actual live release in the season launch to see how strong it's gonna be. But if you have anything to go by with the other seasonal powers that introduce dealing certain amount of damage to an enemy, for example, the vengeance power or the storm armor power for the wizard, uh, then you might be able to kill the boss with just the Bogatile with no further damage required in yeah, a few minutes or so which is extremely good for Mundunugu. Mundunugu has this insane RE damage and absolutely no single target. So usually have extremely long boss fights with a Banish of Stricken. And since this Bogadile doesn't scale with anything, you might be able to drop Banish of Stricken and run Pain Enhancer to boost your power. So that's exactly what I was doing here. And man, I gotta say, it is so much fun to play Mundunugu now with this insane huge pull. I really hope that after the season ends, there's gonna be you know some kind of resemblance of this maybe with an updated like Piranado legendary power or so that uh, just pulls from a larger radius that could make it way more interesting and potentially also enable a more like support Witch Doctor role again at some point. But uh, yeah, it's it's a blast to play. I can only recommend it. And luckily the solo version of the build is also way less complicated than the typical group variant. That being said, Mundunugu is definitely not a build that you just want to, you know, jump in and, and try without having any clue. So I can only recommend you to either go read up on our Maxwell guide. It is like one of the longest build guides that we have on the site. Or I also have some videos that I made back in season 20 about the build when it was like fresh and like the absolute blaster build. But yeah, there, there are a lot of mechanics that you need to know about to actually understand how to deal damage. But I gotta say that the feeling of, you know, pulling everything in and then de detonating the entire pull in like one pop is just so amazing with this build. So I'm really looking forward to playing some Witch Doctor myself and pushing this build next season. Other than that, I have covered the Witch Doctor already with some of the other builds like the Gargs and the Jade. So you can go check out those videos if you like. In general, it's not really looking that bad for Witch Doctors this time around, which, well, is probably an improvement, I guess. So they do get really strong seasonal theme powers that work for yeah, basically every single build and really boost them. So if you're like a Witch Doctor main in particular, then this is going to be a great season, even if you're not necessarily like in a group spot or something. So this is what I wanted to share here for now. Hope you enjoyed this little preview of Season 27 Mundunugu with the Bogadal power, which is just really fun and amazing. So I can just recommend you to try it out. Hope you like this video. Subscribe for more free content. I'll see you guys next time.